Hello YouTubers, Rob here. So today I'm going to do a test or a review, I don't know if it's a review or not really, of the WaterSafe Well Water Test Kit. Okay, it was 25 quid. I bought it to test some um, well water from up the road. There's a spring slash trough that collects water um, from the side of the hill by the road. And uh, I wasn't sure if it was safe to drink or not. I brewed beer with it and I want to know if it's now safe to drink that beer. I should have done this back to front. Um, and uh, done this before I brewed the beer, but there we go. So, um, you know, have what is what I've brewed um, poisonous? I don't know. We're going to find out using this test kit. So it's got 10 different tests. You don't get much in the packet for your 25 quid, I must admit. It comes in this little um, box here. It comes with this instruction card. There's your various tests and how to do them and the different colour charts you need to test against. And pretty much that is all you get, um, excluding, obviously, the mug and the phone. So, um, not huge things, that's got a few bits and bobs in it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to uh, set this going. There's the well collect. I went back to the well tonight and collected this. So it looks really clear. I'd be surprised if that's got any iron in it. I mean, it's as clear as day, isn't it? But um, we'll see what happens. So I'll set this up somewhere stable for you and we'll crack on with some of these tests. So the first one we're going to do is the uh, copper test. I need to put it in here. This is the sample. Wave it backwards and forwards for 30 seconds, then leave it for 2 seconds, sorry, 2 minutes, and then measure the colour chart here. So I'll, uh, I'll do that and we'll see how we get on. Okay, so copper, that hasn't changed at all since it's gone in. <coughs> it's the lightest colour indicated here on this chart, so uh, I'm saying that's got no copper in. Move on to the next test. Next one's the iron test, so just 5 seconds on this one, then wait 2 minutes. And we're looking for it to turn blue, really, if it's got some iron in it, will stay white if not. Okay, so as you can see, it's been going for a while now. It's not even changed colour at all. So it's down at the white end of the scale. And uh, it's non, which is good news. Next one is the nitrate nitrite test. I'm quite important this one. This is one I'm actually most interested in, or one of the ones I'm more interested in. So I've uh, got some fresh water. Each time I'm using a fresh sample, by the way, in here. You can see the bottle's going down. This one has come up with a result. It's a bit hard to tell, really, from the uh, pictures here. It's kind of a... looks like 0.5, possibly as high as 2 on the nitrate. Nitrite stays down at 0. So I think we've definitely got maybe... One or so on the nitrate scale there. pH hardness chlorine. So, uh, what's this one do? 15 seconds. No, put it in, remove it immediately, wait 15 seconds. Hard to tell this actually with the colours, but um, I think the pH is middle, so between about uh, 7. Uh, hardness is somewhere around 120 parts per million, 120 parts per million, and no chlorine whatsoever. Next one's the lead and pesticide test. Now it's quite, com well, quite involved this one, so I'll have to concentrate. But um, using this little dropper thing they give you, pop some in the vial, and uh, leave it for 10 minutes undisturbed, come back, lay it flat, and then read the values. That's quite an interesting one, this one. Um, it says if the lines on the right side are darker than, well they're not darker than as such, they're slightly less than or equally dark, then it's a positive result. Um, the one on pesticides is not quite as dark, but it's not, certainly not darker, but it's not convincing. Um, there's probably some pesticides in there I'd imagine. And the same kind of applies for lead. Lead's definitely not as dark, but uh, sorry it's such a bad picture there. I'm not convinced that uh, I don't want to be drinking too much of that, to be honest. So the last one to test is this um, bacteria one. I've marked the line because it's very difficult to find out where 5 mils is. There's some powder in the bottom here. Uh, make sure it doesn't overflow um, and we don't lose any of that powder. So I'll do that carefully and um, I'll put it somewhere quite warm for... 48 hours, I might just set my fermentation fridge and set that to about 23 degrees, 24 degrees and leave it for 48 hours to see if it's purple, which would indicate a negative result, or yellow for a positive result. 
But um, I must say, overall, um, the test, it's not all that clear, judging by the colours. It's not the easiest method. Um, uh, yeah, I, I think it's possibly there's some pesticides, not so much worried about the lead. That's the only really thing I'm worried about. And also the hardness seems quite high, um, possibly around 120 parts per million. On the back it does explain what the uh, threshold should be, which is quite good. Um, the pesticides, it's looking for US kind of pesticides. I imagine they're the same all, all over the place, so the UK is probably similar. Um, but yes, it's, it's, it's okay. Um, I'm still not sure if I want to drink this uh, water though. So... Let's see what the bacteria comes back with. I'll probably post that as a separate video or just in the comments.